Welcome to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. In today's video, we're going to be going over this, what I prefer to call a micro adjustment paddle. This guy's is perfect when you're out here paddling. You just need to make some tiny adjustments, especially on a day like today where you've got no breeze, but you're trying to drift along and this guys will help you get your boat turned a little bit easier than trying to use your rudder or something like that especially for you guys that are on the uh, pedal drives this is just a much quicker one thing i want to point out and i actually thought was kind of fun make sure you guys can see this okay but if you can see that wooden dowel that's holding this handle to the paddle that's the 12 inch mark 14 inch mark and then the 16 inch mark back here so it's kind of a dual purpose deal actually it's a tri-purpose so you got your measurement you got your 10 inch for crappie 12 inch and then 14 inch which is a lot of your state minimums for bass and then this hook right here guys if you guys ever throw out jug lines when you're out in your kayak and and historically back in oklahoma i always did it I always threw jug lines out and then i went and did my fishing whether it be crappie or bass or whatever but this just makes it so much easier to grab that line. You can grab your line, your jug, bring it into the boat, and then you can have everything right here in front of you safely and start reeling it up, net your fish or whatever else that you got on your jug line. But that's why I always put these hooks in. I'll show you a picture of, of a paddle that I made almost 10 years ago, and it may be closer to 12 years ago, but I made it, it's still working this paddle here what we did we're experimenting with epoxy i'm not an epoxy expert guys but i think for the most part this really turned out pretty sweet i mean i got a couple of bumps over here that i could maybe sand out and smooth out that epoxy a little bit but for the overall you can see the water's beading up on this thing and it ought to last for 20 30 years if i was guessing it's also going to be stronger being made with epoxy but i did my like I say the last one all i did was i put Put it together with a wood glue, the Type Bond 3. And from there, all I did was spray it. I don't even think I put lacquer on it. Again, guys, if you're interested in how to make this, stick around, because we're going to show you how we made these. Again, guys, I appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. Thank you so much for any of your comments. If you took the time to share this video with anybody, if you know anybody that enjoys fishing in the outdoors, please share our video with, with them. We, and again, we appreciate each and every one of you. We couldn't be doing this without you. I hope that you have a blessed week. And let's get outside and make something happen. I want to start with telling you the bait store that we stopped at on our way to Lake of the Pines. It's right off a of highway crud. 